Hi guys, I'm Zephaniah Thal with Cross Tactical, and today we're going to be doing a short segment on shooting and drawing from the ground position. We're going to be engaging targets to the front, to the rear, to the right, and to the left sides in this segment. We're going to start this part of the drill with our legs flat, our arms flat, and our head uh, on resting on the ground like we just got knocked out, we're coming to on the street, whatever it may be. So what we're going to do is we're going to engage a target directly in front of us. Okay, We're going to draw from two positions, from appendix and also from the four o'clock position, the two most common ways people carry pistols. So what we're going to do is we're going to keep our legs down, our arms down, and to engage we always have to be aware of our muzzle. Okay, So from here we're going to grasp our shirt, our cover, whatever it may be with our non-dominant hand. We're going to bring it up and we're going to get our full firing grip on the gun and we're going to bring back to what we call a number two position. Now I know exactly where this muzzle is based on the thumb pectoral index. I can move around. I know where it is. Now I'm going to keep my legs flat. I'm going to join my hands together and press out and engage to the target. Okay? From here, we're just going to reholster. Okay? And again, look at the target, clear the cover garment, establish our grip, number two, number three position, number four. Engage. Okay, so now we're going to be uh, drawing from the four o'clock position here. Now, a couple differences is with the appendix, we're coming straight out and then straight back at the target. We don't got to worry about our legs being in the way because he's directly in front of us. Um, with the four o'clock, we need to get our muzzle over our leg. We don't want to sweep our leg. So what we're going to do to draw from this position is we're going to roll our body and put our right leg on the ground. If you're drawing on the left side, you're going to roll the other way and put your left leg on the ground. So from here, we're going to roll, remove our cover garment with both hands, one hand or the non-dominant hand, it doesn't matter right now we're going to remove our cover garment apply get our master grip pull out get to our number two position the thumb pectoral muscle we're going to roll back okay notice how that gun didn't move my body moved here and we're going to go through the number three position press out and engage okay back roll over reholster now we're going to be engaging targets to our left side Okay, from here, we're going to go through um, the draw stroke like we normally would. One, two, okay. Now what we're going to do is we're going to go to three how we normally would when we're standing up. This is a high compressed ready position. The only difference is I'm laying on the ground now. So in order to engage that target there, okay, to my left or to my right, we're simply going to roll our body, okay, and then press the gun out. Okay, we can roll and press as we do it, come across, I'm going straight out. Okay, what I want you to visualize is visualize a laser beam coming out of the end of your gun, your muzzle. What you're going to be doing is you want to go straight towards the target. You don't want to have any type of arcing movement because if there is your family on either side of the, the individual you're trying to shoot, you don't want to accidentally muzzle them, press around off and hit them. So we are going to be very efficient with our muzzle movement. We're going from here straight down, okay? That is the most efficient way that you can get your muzzle on target. All right, so let's show this again. So we're laying flat. What we're going to do is we look over. Okay, we see a threat. Now we, we begin our draw stroke. Remove our cover garment. Get our master grip on the gun, number one position. Go to the number two position. Okay, and we're going to go to our high compressed or the number three position. We're going to take our right leg. We're going to press on the ground. That's going to rotate our body over. From here, we're going to rotate, press the gun out, engage the target. From drawing from the, the four o'clock position and engaging a target on the left-hand side, we're still going to pass through that neutral position. Again, when we're on the ground drawing from the number four position, we have to watch the leg on the same side that we're carrying. I carry on the right side. I got to watch my right leg very closely. So when we're down and flat, what we're going to do is we're going to rotate to the side 
to expose the gun, and then we're going to remove the cover garment, establish our grip, the number one position, come to the number two position. Now notice I did not sweep any part of my body, and we can rotate back, get our gun in the neutral position, the number three, or a high compressed ready, and from here, plant our foot again, roll, engage the target. Come back, for the sake of the drill, if you're going to do this multiple times, Okay, make sure you put your right leg down. Go back to the number two position, the high pectoral index, and go ahead and reholster. Okay, again, move to the side, remove your cover garment, establish your full firing grip, come up to your number two position, the, the thumb pectoral index. You can rotate back into the gun, keep the gun in the same position, establish. Uh, your two-handed firing grip, the high compressed ready position, plant your right foot and roll, press the gun out towards the target and engage, and then go ahead and reholster. Okay, or another way to do this, if you have looked and you see that that guy is there and you know you're engaging a guy to your left hand side and you carry on your right hand side, what you can do, look, you're going to rotate your body to to uh, gain access to the gun area, remove the cover garment, okay? Establish your full firing grip, come to the number two position, the number three position, just stay in this, um, this sideways position and bring the gun straight out and engage, okay? And then back and reholster, okay? So you don't have to move your body if you're engaging to your left hand side and you carry on your right hand side, okay? Again, like here. See the target, rotate your body, remove your concealment, get your full firing grip, number two, number three, number four, engage. And go ahead and reholster. Okay, so now we're gonna be engaging a target to our right-handed side, okay? So what we're going to be doing is we're gonna draw from appendix, we're just gonna walk you through it slowly. Again, place your hands, legs, and head on the ground. You're gonna look, you're gonna see the threat, Okay, you're going to initiate your drawing process. Okay, move your cover garment, establish grip, go to the number two position, the number three, high compressed ready, or what I call a neutral position. This is a safe direction. Okay, pointing up is safe, especially in this case where pointing down would not be. From here, okay, we still see our target. We're going to plant our left leg and we're going to roll over while we're pressing the gun out and engage the target. Okay, pull back, roll over, go ahead and reholster. So now we're going to be drawing from the four o'clock position here and engaging our target to our right hand side. We still have to rotate to our left to gain access to our firearm. So as we rotate to our left, we're going to uh, Remove our cover garment, establish our grip. We're going to come to the number two position or the thumb pectoral muscle uh, index. We're going to rotate back. As we rotate back, we're going to angle the, the muzzle up and into our number three position here, okay, and, and establish our, our full firing grip with both hands. We're going to plant our left foot and we're going to rotate over and engage the target from the four o'clock again. We see the target, we're gonna rotate our body to gain access to our gun, remove our cover garment, establish our grip, draw, go to the number two position. We're gonna roll back and we're gonna get into our number three, plant your left foot, move over, press out, engage the target. Now we're gonna engage targets directly behind us, okay? From here, you're going to have to decide if you're going to move to your left or your right position once you have the gun in your hands. So we see our target, right? We see there's a problem back there. We're going to remove our cover garment, establish our grip on the gun, come straight out, and go to our neutral position, high compressed ready. From here, okay, you can plant your right foot, okay? And from here, we're going to bring the gun straight back over our head as we're rolling, okay, here come across, move to our side, engage, all right? 
If you want to move farther over, all the way, you can. We can also go to the other side, okay? Just plant the other foot. Same thing, we look, draw a stroke, go to the neutral position, plant your other foot, roll and press out, all right? And engage. Come back, okay, notice the muzzle is going straight out to the target and back, okay? It's not sweeping, okay? Now we're gonna be demonstrating it from the four o'clock position, engaging targets directly behind us. Okay, from here, we're gonna rotate, okay, to gain access to where our firearm is, move our cover garment, get our full firing grip on the gun, number two position, number three position. Now if we're gonna engage from our left side, we don't even have to roll back, we can just press out and engage, all right, from here. Okay, and when we reholster, be sure to put your right leg down so that you don't muzzle yourself, and then go ahead and reholster. All right, now from the other side, okay, we're gonna have to roll to one side, then roll to the other to engage. So we, we see our threat, okay? We roll to gain access, go through our draw stroke, okay? Now I'm gonna plant my left leg and push over and engage. Come back to the number three position, roll back over, and then go ahead and reholster for the sake of this drill. Now we're gonna do this live fire. Couple things to keep in mind. Watch your legs, okay? Watch your target, make sure you have a solid backstop, okay? When standing and shooting, you may have a good backstop, but remember we've now changed the angle to an up position. So you may have to put your targets lower, um, or you may have to move closer to the bank. So just be sure of that. In closing, guys, if you're gonna try this on a range, be very, very careful. Uh, make sure you have your draw stroke standing down pat first. Um, always be aware of what your muzzle is. I can't say that enough. You need to know where your muzzle is pointed at all times so that you don't accidentally sweep yourself or another person. Be sure of your targets, what's behind it. Remember with that high angle, there's a lot of times that shooting when standing is safe, maybe being down on the ground isn't anymore so you got to be sure you might have to move your targets down um, please share our video please like our video please subscribe to us and remember we're promoting a safer community through the responsible training of armed citizens